Welcome back. We are we have with us today Amber Phillips and Danielle Hooper. They are with the East program at Harrison High School. Uh, a few weeks ago, we had some of the other people that are involved in this program. What, will you take a little a minute and tell us a little bit about what East is, and then we'll delve into what your project is. Sure. Um, East is basically where we come up with our own projects for the community or ideas that we have that we want to do and. He doesn't, Mr. Bright, our East mm -hmm. teacher, doesn't tell us we can't do it. He just tells us, figure it out if you can or you can't. And we do it all on our own. We contact the people on our own. We we do basically everything ourselves. And then he's just, just there to help us out a little bit here and there. But he wants us to do everything ourselves. So our projects are all our own ideas and all, all our own work. Tell me how this has helped you as a student, as a adult, if you will. Um. Well, it's become, it's become, I've become more independent since I've started the EAST program because I've been doing more stuff on my own mm -hmm. and like talking to the principal and doing like stuff like this, being on TV and just becoming more independent. What grade are both you all in? Tenth. Okay. Um, now tell us about your particular project. Um, our project involves the Arkansas Children's Hospital and we had another idea, but we found this one through our principal who gave us this idea but mm -hmm. we've carried it out um basically we're wanting to get 350 presents for them and we're we decided to do it as a contest to get everybody involved and in wanting them to do it so everyone we in school yes that, everyone okay. it's um gob times which is basically a homeroom and we went around talked to all the teachers talked to all the students tried to get them in for this and the contest involves getting a pizza party for the top two and so we figured that would help out. A little incentive. Yeah, everybody wants pizza. But, um, and we just, we accepted like any toys and all that. And we had to go and talk. We had to send out emails, send out um, papers to all the classrooms. So it's been a lot of work. I'd say so. And tell us how it's going. How, what kind of response have you gotten? Um, some of the classes are participating, but we have to keep on them and make them want to do the project and right. help. Well, and don't you find that's probably typical in high mm -hmm. school, just mm -hmm. to get them involved and in life in general too. If you're not <laughs> if you're not involved with a project, it's hard, really hard, to get other people to mm -hmm. see the vision you have, right? Yes. Yeah. So you just get in their face. <laughs> I mean, seriously, you just keep telling them and keep yeah. asking and mm -hmm. that kind of. We thing. try. So, are you how are you getting your your presence? How, how's that um, working? By raising money, or are you asking for... No, we're just asking particular. people to bring whatever oh, okay. they can. I mean, yeah. it has to be new, but we tell them, you know, if it's like something that's been laying around that your grandma gave you and you're never going to use it and it's like mm -hmm. a toy or something, mm -hmm. anything, bring it and anybody could use it because yeah. the Children's Hospital doesn't just have children. They have babies. They have adults. They right. have teenagers. They have everything. So, Will you all be able to actually present it to the hospital? Or um, that that's what we want to do. We want to be able to go there and give it mm -hmm. to them, but we're not allowed to go and give it to the children specifically, but we think it'd be great for us to be able to enjoy the fact that we're going and giving mm -hmm. it to them. You bet. So, mm -hmm. that's what so, we want. so I guess you would like our viewers out there to maybe contact you? Yes. If you have, have certain um, things, how can they contact you? Uh, they can contact us by email if they would like. Okay. It's okay. just, um, you would put amber.phillips um, at do you remember? At goblins.k12.ar.us and then switch it with danielle.hooper. That would be our emails. Okay, I thought she's just going to give you an email. And she's like, <laughs> could they call the, uh, could they call the uh, high school, maybe? Yeah, they could call the, the high school. That, that would help, too. Anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. And your sponsor is Anthony Bright, correct? Yes. So they could probably get in touch with him, too. too. Anything. Or you can call the station here. We'll try to direct you if we can. We'll try to help. Yeah. Well, I commend you girls. That's mm -hmm. a wonderful project. Thank Is there you. a deadline? Cut off date um, on, on these? December 12th. Yeah. Okay. okay. We got this project kind of started a little too late, but we are planning on doing it next year still. So, okay. But we're just trying to get as many as we can. So, anything so if it that goes past that date, you will take maybe presents take for next, next year, maybe? Yes. Well, yeah, we'll take anything. I mean, we're not really for sure what day we're going to go take them. So, I mean, right. if people bring it like a day later on, like on Monday, we we might be able to take it then, but still we can save them for next year, whatever it is, so. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, great. Great project. Thank you. Thank Keep you. it going. Let us know how it turns out, please. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Thank you all very much for being here. You're welcome. And if you'd like more information, there's uh, information, that, or there's contact information at the end of the show, where you can just call here at the station, 870-741-4891, and we'll get that information 
to the people that need it. All right, who's next? Up next, we have Ginger Milan with the Boone County Library. Stay with us.